And here we go, final match here for Group F for the FX Open Invitational Series. I am Unstable, joined by Railcoon. We are going to go straight into it, and let's have a quick look here at our next matchup. It is going to be Quantix, the STC, up against Slayer's Crank on Cloud Kingdom to be Game 1. Winner of this set will advance into the round of 32. A loser will go home with absolutely nothing, so let's jump into it. We have Slayer's Crank up here at the top right-hand corner as our pink Protoss. And then, of course, down here at the bottom left, we have Quantix, the STC, as our Red Terran. Now, uh, STC did have to play against Parting in the very first set for today. Did unfortunately lose to him. However, uh, they, the games were a lot closer than we thought. Uh, there was a lot of back and forth in that first game, especially on this map in particular. Uh, with Parting taking that, that uh, advantage in the upgrades. But let's see if Crank can do the same here. Relkin, what do you think is going to happen? Well, both matches so far we've seen Crank in, he's taken an absurd risk in game one, cutting a lot of corners and going straight into something tech heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm really watching him right now to see if he's going to do it again. Uh, Cloud Kingdom isn't the worst map to do that on because the metagame on this map is really expansion heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of players really like to go for fast expansions here on Cloud Kingdom. Uh, but le what I was saying earlier about CVP is that some players just really dislike the late game of this matchup and really like to just get aggressive and just end it before it gets there. So it's always a possibility in TVP that if you go for something really risky, your opponent's just going to hit you with a really aggressive mid-game timing. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I really just want to know if Crank's going to go for the crazy aggressive tech again. It looks like he's going to go Nexus first, so he's going for really fast economy, which is not out of the ordinary on this map. No, it's not. And with the way the STC plays, he's actually... Ooh, he's actually going into Tech Lab straight away. Crank has seen that no, uh, pretty much instantly with his scouting probe, so he's going to know what's going on there. His gateway has just been started in the main. Now, like I was going to say before I saw that Tech Lab, normally you see the STC with a, a one racks expand in 99% of cases, but he is going to start off with a Reaper. Ooh, okay, yeah, the Reaper. Haven't seen the Reapers coming out for a while, except for... One silliness earlier where somebody wasn't GGing and a player switched into a bunch of Reapers to end the game. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who that was. It was in group A or B. Um, but oh my god, he's got a Reaper bunker. Ooh. Reaper range in the bunker that can actually hit from pretty far away, but Crank's going to scout it. He's going to break, come down with his probe and say, get get out of my house. Mm -hmm. What are you oh! doing here? <laughs> the SCV's... Uh... The SCV part thing is actually saving him here. Is it going to go? Oh, he can't actually hit it! Oh my god, Railcoon. Is oh he going to... If he pass back down to the bottom, this is going to be huge. He needs to kill this SCV. Oh. It needs to die. Oh, the SCV dies! Right oh. there. Bad SCV pathing right at the end. And he does manage to barely salvage it. But I mean, at this point, even if SCC just throws down a command center right now, he forced to pull a whole bunch of probes. Yeah, look at this. And he's no, actually gonna... he's gonna throw down another bunker in the exact same spot. He's got the Reaper out to kite infinitely against probes and zealots. First zealot is gonna die, but he got to, has to make sure he does not get surrounded by these probes. Yeah, that's one thing he really needs to be given. Here comes Crank. Is he gonna get the surround? Oh, so <laughs> close. It does it does take a couple of hits off on these probes. So remember, there is another zealot out already. He's gonna try and come down, but the bunker is finishing up down here at the bottom of the ramp here, Railcoon. We do see the it's Stalker the on the way now. We've got a Marauder coming up as well to deal with that Stalker. This is a really nice build of bike the SCC. Oh, look at the range here. The Marauder and the Reaper can both hit the Nexus from here. Oh, that's actually pretty dangerous. Because they both tear that Nexus down surprisingly quick. Look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, the Reaper adding in tons of damage with those VA charges. Another Marauder coming in. And he does have Concussive to kite any units that come in to try and deal with this. Uh, and now he's just actually going to try and poke up the ramp. I'm not sure about this. He could actually just kill the Nexus. But well, I he's going to kill the Nexus regardless. As well. Oh, he's um, going to get one of these Stalkers. And oh, yeah, the Marauder's no, not going to get away. No, it might be possible to save the Nexus, though, is the issue. Um, he did get some scouting and he saw the extra gateways. But now it's possible for Crank to stop this in time for his Nexus to survive. And in some of these games, you see that being enough to turn the, the tide where a player uses the Nexus like as a tank to buy oh, more yeah. time for units to come out. It looks Will like you're right. to save this? Oh, Mule coming out to repair <laughs> the <bunker. laughs> Okay, I, that, that was cool. All right. Uh, it looks like everything's being pulled here to try and kill off this bunker. He's targeting down the Mule here as well. He's targeting down the Stalker. Oh, Stalker barely goes down. 
and looks like we are going to get the Zealot go down as well. But now, there's still this Stalker to be uh, trying to deal with. Yeah, this Reaper is still getting kills. Up to nine kills right before he goes down. Almost gets another probe. Oh, oh <laughs> all the Marauder coming in, going to catch that Stalker off guard. I thought that was a missed rally, and then I realized there weren't actually any other Stalkers in position. So that worked out pretty well, but he should be backing off now. This is pushing it. I mean... Yeah. Getting that stalker kill was already more than you should have expected, and then he just gave away the Marauder and the Marine a little bit unnecessarily. His bunker isn't done yet, so he might have wanted those units back home to defend as well for the inevitable counterattack when you do that much damage. Yeah. I mean, the Protoss does tend to quite often just turn around and say, I'm upset right now. I'm going to try and kill you. Well, that's exactly what Crank is going to try and do here. He's got three Stalkers. Uh, however, there is one Bunker. Only two Marines in here at the moment, though. Yeah, trying to delay the second Bunker with the Stalkers, making sure he takes only shield damage, and he might actually be able to kill this Bunker uh, with some good cycling of that Stalker. Yeah, he does take it out. It means the second Bunker is going to be pretty slow, and this makes STC really nervous. Mm -hmm. Even if Crank doesn't commit to this, is what I was talking about earlier, about trying to make it look like you're going to commit, so he has to over-invest in defenses. I honestly don't know if he will, uh, but it's definitely at that point where it could go either way. But he's warping in a lot of units. It looks like he is going to try and break this Bunker. He doesn't have any sentries, though, so he needs to power it down before all of the repairs can get on. Oh, it Stim looks just like finished. Be able to do it. Stim just finished as well though, Railcoon, but there's just Marines, there's no Marauders. Uh, and now the Stalker's gonna run around, just like we saw Crank do against uh, Party. Yeah, and this is this is really difficult for STC. Um, he had to build that second bunker really far back, and it's not just it's not covering as well as the first one would have. Mm -hmm. And that's really what allowed that run by to happen. You can see he walks by there, takes maybe two or three shots from that bunker, mm -hmm. just because he was forced to build it so far back. So really good job by Crank. At this point, he doesn't even really need to keep pushing the issue. But since that bunker is out of position, he's going to keep uh, harassing and seeing if he can cut down on the SV count, maybe kill a few Marines. Mm -hmm. But if we look back home into Crank's base, he has a robotics on the way, so he's going to start teching. Would not be surprised to see a forge go down as well, because uh, at this point, this is where a lot of the Protoss players really like to leverage those uh, upgrades that are so good in this uh, mm. matchup. But Crank is really far behind in the tech here, Relk, and we got Medivacs on the way as well. If Crank isn't looking and the SCC pops out of here, he might actually lose all of these Stalkers. Oh, is he going to yeah. try and bait him in with that factory? Oh my god, please... Oh, do not fall for the factory. Do not fall Oh, I fall think he the is. Factory. There's the stim. There's He's... the stim pack. He does have two medivacs that are just catching him completely off guard. He's going to take down quite a few stalkers. He never actually threw down a forge, which could become really important because those marines have plus one, plus one armors on the way already. So now oh he's my really God. far behind. Upgrades. All yeah. the stalkers going down. There's the GG. Wow, that was not expected. If he just didn't lose those stalkers, he could have gotten home in time, but he was behind in the tech regardless. But nicely done by the SDC, trying to bait him in there with that factory. We'll go into game number two and see if Crank can bring it back.